Welcome to another Vengeance Producer Suite Phalanx video. This time we'll be taking a closer look at the Midian ARP page. The Midian ARP page contains several global parameters concerning drum kit mode, MIDI velocity, and other MIDI settings, as well as Phalanx's own arpeggiator. But let's start with the drum kit mode in Phalanx. On the far left, you can see the drum matrix. The central column contains all 16 sample pads. A sample pad will either be to the left in the usual multi-track mode, or to the right in the drum kit mode. These two modes are very different. The standard phalanx mode is called multi-track. Multi-track mode lets you play any notes on your keyboard polyphonically, from the lowest to the highest, for each of the 16 MIDI channels. You can freely specify which MIDI channel will trigger which sample pad. However, there are countless producers who prefer to have their drum sounds next to each other on the keyboard, or they use a MIDI pad controller such as the classic Akai MPC. This is the domain of the drum kit mode. While in drum kit mode, Phalanx always receives on MIDI channel 1. Let's move all the sample pads to the right in drum kit mode. You can see that they affect the appearance of the keyboard graphic. All unused keys in this drum kit are grayed out. In the right-hand column, we can specify which notes are routed to which sample pads. You can also see that, although only MIDI channel 1 is being used here, the sample pad signals can be routed to separate audio outputs. Now we can also play the drum kit on an external MIDI pad controller. A mixture of both modes is also possible. For instance, you can load synthesizer sounds into several sample pads, set these to multi-track mode, and play them on the keyboard using their own MIDI channels, while the drums are still playing in drum kit mode. There are a few more options in the MIDI and ARP page. In the Velocity panel, you can specify how much the volume and filter cutoff of the selected sample pad will react to MIDI velocity data. An editable curve lets you adjust the velocity response. You can set it harder or softer to suit your playing style. Let's now go to the Pitch subpanel. The first parameter here lets you specify a root key for the loaded sample. All the factory samples in Phalanx were created in C2, so this note is also the default value here. Sample A and B key track determines the amount of pitch key tracking. Zero percent means no pitch tracking. Negative values are also possible. PB up and down is for setting the maximum range in semitones of MIDI pitch bend, either up or down. Next we come to the special subpanel, starting with panorama spread. The central position means no effect. Positive values alternate the pan position to the left and right with each successive note. Negative values introduce a random pan position between left and right with each successive note. Pan key track affects the pan positions of all notes, from the very lowest to the highest. Like sitting in front of a piano, the lower notes are panned to the left, those in the middle are hardly panned at all, higher notes are panned to the right. Kill note is a special feature for drum kits.
For instance, you might want to mute the sound of the open hi-hat whenever the closed hi-hat is played. To do this, enter the note you would like to mute into the current sample pad. The parameters retrigger key track and retrigger fade are required for the retrigger effect in the sample pad. If you want to play tunes with retriggered sounds, you should always set retrigger key track to 100%. Retrigger fade adds a quick crossfade between retrigger events. This can reduce clicks, but the sound loses some high frequencies. Finally, here is also Phalanx's arpeggiator. The arpeggiator needs to be activated by clicking the on button. The neighboring control is for setting the arpeggiation rate. This is followed by the number of octaves, and the pattern selector. ARP gate time controls the length of arpeggiated notes. And shuffle introduces a slight delay to every second note, a very useful effect, especially for the more groove-oriented music styles. Before we reach the end of this MIDI and ARP video, Phalanx has one very special arpeggio feature you should see. The arpeggio rate can be continuously modulated. It can be automatically sped up or slowed down. All you have to do is go into the mod matrix and make the assignment. Here's an example using the modulation wheel as the modulation source. Our intended target is arpeggiator speed modifier. So now we can control the speed of the arpeggiator using the mod wheel and it can get very fast. Enough about the MIDI and ARP page for now. See you in the next video.